Hello and welcome to the MechWarrior Living Legends Modular Weapons Demonstration Video. I am Kamikaze, the co-lead of the upcoming Total Conversion Mod for Crisis MechWarrior Living Legends. I will be your host and guide through this video demonstration of one of our core features you will see in MWLL. Please keep in mind that all of this is work in progress and should not be viewed as final or release ready. In this video, I'll be showing you how you'll be able to fully customize your battle mech with a modular pod system. This pod system will allow you to mount almost any weapon you desire to bring to the battlefield. On my screen here, you'll see a variety of our mechs placed inside of our mech hanger. You should be able to recognize them all, but you'll notice something strange about their appearance. Let me bring you closer to one. Here is our Inner Sphere Catapult A variant. This variant is not like regular catapults, which holds LRMs on the arms but rather holds PPCs similar to the CBT Catapult K2F variant. This system we set up to make this variant possible is our modular pod system. Let me explain. Since we don't have the front end flash system in place for the users as of yet, I will demonstrate the essentials of the pod system through the back end using the Sandbox 2 character editor. To start, all mechs are inherently made naked. These naked mechs hold a certain number of pod mount locations which can hold any pod we wish to attach. The catapult holds two of these pod mounts, and they are placed on the arms here, shown by the placement of these yellow balls. These mount locations can hold two different types of pods, missile pods or gun pods. Missile pods are the easiest since their weapons are inclusive in the pods that they are mounted on. The only additional setup is the choice of what type of ammo you wish to attach. Here I can attach an LRM-20 pod to the mount locations on the catapult. Other missile pods I can attach are a variety of sizes such as LRM-15, LRM-10, or even some SRM pods. The gun pods, however, go for an additional step and requires you to attach your weapons of choice to a pod that has a predetermined number of gun slots attached to them. These gun slots act like pod mounts, except you attach modular gun barrels which are the weapons. Each gun pod is different in the fact that you may have more armor or a different number of gun slots to be able to mount weapons on. Also, not all guns are the same size. We are separating out each of the guns into four different size categories. Small, medium, large, and assault. These sizes represent the average diameter of the weapon that gets placed in these sizes. For example, a small laser will only fit into a small slot whereas an AC-20 may only fit into an assault slot. Neither weapon can fit into a different size slot other than the size they're classified in. With that being said, you will have a variety of pods to choose from to mount these different sizes. A large basic pod, for example, holds one large slot which can mount PPCs or large lasers. Another example is a small bipod which holds two small slots Either slot can carry machine guns or small lasers. Other pods can be a mixed combinations of gun slots, like the barrage pod, that holds one assault slot for something like a Gauss rifle, and one small slot for a small pulse laser or machine gun. So in fact, you could place any pods in a pod mount location and fit the right size weapons in the gun slots available on the pod, as long as you have enough tonnage to place the weapons on it. Think of it like an omni mount where you can place any particular weapon or combination of weapons in these locations. However, not all weapons on the mechs act like pod mounts. There are some restricted slots on the mechs where pod mounting is not allowed. These are called hard mounts. Using the catapult again as an example, there are two gun slots that are hard mounted into the torso. The two medium lasers will only be replaced by other medium sized guns, such as an LBX-5 or a medium pulse laser. Following hard mounts are hard slots, where you cannot change the weapon in that location, no matter what. This rule applies to some of the mechs which have built-in missile pods to their torso, like the Atlas or Kodiak. These locations will not allow you to swap the missiles stored here for a different pod, so you will always have an Atlas with two LRM-10s in the torso. However, it is still possible to change their ammo types. As the player, you will not start by purchasing a naked mech, but rather a stock variant that already exists in the game. After purchasing, we plan to allow you to customize your mech using our modular weapon system. 
I hope you've enjoyed our video demonstration, and we hope to see you on the battlefield with some interesting variants of your own. From Mech Warrior Living Legends, I'm Kamikaze. Each level critical.